Hello everyone. Let's attempt a question asked at CSR 2012. The oxidation state of iron in met hemoglobin is options given are 3, 2, 4 and 0. Well the answer is very simple. The iron present in met hemoglobin has an oxidation state of 3. But whenever a student appears at uh, top level exams like CSA, NET or GATE, they require a deeper understanding and a greater knowledge of the subject. So from this video, I want you to understand how met hemoglobin is formed and how it can be back converted into hemoglobin. Well, to start with, let me take iron. This iron is a part of hemoglobin. So we are aware that hemoglobin is a tetramer and it contains four subunits, two alpha and two beta subunits. Each subunit contains iron surrounded by porphyrin and a protein chain. So I'm just choosing one of these subunits. You can just imagine that it is a monomer of this hemoglobin, only one subunit. The oxidation state of iron for such a subunit when it is not oxygenated is plus 2. So, this is reacting with oxygen or we say that it is a dioxygen. Now, once it reacts with dioxygen, a complex will form. This complex is called as a super oxo complex so the name itself gives an idea that the dioxygen will take up a super oxo form and the oxidation state of iron is converted to plus 3 here anyway there is a controversy there is a, a group of scientists who believe that the oxidation state of iron is plus 2 even when it is oxygenated but there are some experimental evidences where the oxidation state of oxyhemoglobin is found to be plus 3. So we are going by plus 3. We call it as a superoxo complex. Such a superoxo complex will react with iron of another subunit. So once it is reacting with iron of another subunit, A complex is formed, we call this as a peroxo complex. The oxidation state of both irons is found to be plus 3. Since the dioxygen is converted into peroxo form, each iron is getting an oxidation state of plus 3. Right. Now this peroxo complex, it undergoes disproportionation. And as it undergo disproportionation, we have a ferrile complex. This we refer as a ferrile complex. The oxidation state of iron in ferrile complex is plus 4. So this is a very unique oxidation state for iron. Usually we find plus 2 and plus 3 for iron, whereas you can also find plus 4 in this ferrile complex. So such a ferrile complex would react with another iron of a subunit where a complex is formed with a single oxygen being bound between two irons and the oxidation state of two irons is found to be plus 3. So this is a oxygen which is just locked between the two irons and such iron loses its reversibility. Usually in hemoglobin whenever it binds to dioxygen, we say that the oxygen binding is reversible. But as the reaction proceeds, a superoxo complex is converted into a peroxo complex, later on it is converted into a ferrile complex and finally it is converting into a complex where the reversible oxygen binding is completely lost. This becomes irreversible and this complex is referred as hemoglobin you have heard right it is not hemoglobin it is hemoglobin or the another name is 
met hemoglobin so you can either call it as a hemoglobin or met hemoglobin well in hemoglobin we are aware that there are four subunits and one subunit is able to interact with another subunit but usually it will not happen because there is a protein chain called as a globin chain that will protect all the subunits and uh, it will allow uh, it will it does not allow any subunit to interact with another subunit but even in the presence of globin chain at least 2 to 3% of hemoglobin is converted into hemoglobin and as it is converting into hemoglobin the blood will lose its reversible oxygen binding capacity and the person may die but there is a mechanism where the hemoglobin is back converted into hemoglobin by an enzyme called as diaphorase the another name for diaphorase is met hemoglobin reductase so whatever hemoglobin or met hemoglobin that is formed can be back converted into hemoglobin by the action of an enzyme called as diaphorase or met hemoglobin reductase so this is a cycle where we can see the formation of hemoglobin or met hemoglobin there is also another name for hemoglobin or met hemoglobin i am also giving that name it is called as hematin so it has three different names suppose in any exam if at all they ask what is the oxidation state of met hemoglobin or they may change it as what is the oxidation state of iron in hematin or hemoglobin it is just one and the same right so what are the different oxidation states that we have seen iron can carry a oxidation state of plus 2 or it can carry an oxidation state of plus 3 or it can also carry an oxidation state of plus 4 dioxygen is converting into a superoxo form peroxo form and an oxo so we have seen different types of oxygens and also different oxidation states of iron